This early access look is provided through a partnership with the EA Creator Network, formerly known as the EA Game Changers Program. I'm Jason Sterling, and this is The Sims Horse Ranch. Hi, I'm Jason Sterling, and this is the Sims 4 Horse Ranch Expansion Pack. First look. First look through the alpha copy here. Now, I think even though it's an alpha copy, this is a couple of weeks out from when it's going to be released. Uh, Probably everything in cast is where it's going to be, right? They're probably not going to change anything, add anything, take anything away. And there haven't been any glitches. It's cast, so it's pretty much set. Uh, But this is an alpha copy. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to start with the guys' stuff, then the women's stuff. Then the infant, the toddlers, and finally the children. Uh, this is Sash Decor. He is my primary sim at the moment here with this alpha copy with his horse. We'll look at the horse stuff as well. Uh, Brie Corin there. Now, the family doesn't have any names or anything yet. I just threw those in real quick so I'd have sims to use. But then when I was putting them together and I didn't do much, these are all just like kind of game created sims out of the blue i changed them a little bit but not much uh then i thought well you know i might keep them i might keep them as a family and put them somewhere in the game and so we'll see we'll see how it goes let's start with sash to here let's see what kind of clothes this pack has for our guy right over here horse ranch masculine only uh, there are quite a few things you can see right along the line here. Quite a few. These are just tops. These are just the tops. I haven't looked through all this. I have done this outfit for him, and that's about it that I've done in game. Uh, we're going to start switching through this stuff. We've got this, right? That's not too bad. Nice coat there. It comes in 11 different swatches. You can kind of see them there, right? Not bad. I like the blue. I always like blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. And that's okay. So kind of a wintry look, kind of a coat look. Another sort of coat here as well, kind of a barn coat look. I like this one better. I kind of like that. That's good. Darker, yellow, completely dark, blue. So, you know, not bad. Uh, Here is a nice winter look. I like this one probably best of all. This one looks most like I recognize and like I would probably wear. This has 12 different colors here. I love how it's got these gloves tucked in the park in the pocket. That's awesome. The colors are pretty good. And the hoodie kind of, you know, coming over the jacket. Let me take his ne- kerchief off there because that's actually not part of it. There we go. I don't want to give the wrong impression of what we're looking at here. Uh, that neck piece can be added to anything. It's like a necklace, but it goes over everything. So I'd added that to his clothes, but it's not part of this shirt and jacket, right? Got a nice look here. Very cool. Like I said, my favorite part is the gloves tucked in the pocket there. This is a cool jacket. This is also nice. This only has four variations on it, but you know, this, I love that one. That one's very nice. Got the kind of sheepskin lining, which is great. I love vests in real life. Vests are some of my favorite things to wear. Got a nice vest here, a nice leather vest. Five different swatches. Super cool. Another variation on sort of the jacket up above, right? Another variation on that. Uh, pretty close, actually. A little bit different, but actually n- not really I'm almost surprised it's set as a different item. It does have different swatches here, as you can see, but it is essentially the same jacket as up above. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but, you know, more swatches, right? If you like the jacket, you got more swatches there. Another vest. I love this vest as well. All the vests I love. I don't even need to say it, really. Uh, That's cool. Love that one. One thing I do wish, this is something I wish with The Sims on across all the packs in the game, is that they had more shirts that would tuck in. You know, it's either tucked or untucked, this, depending on how they make it. And they're almost always untucked, almost always. So it looks really sloppy, and it's a little bit more unusual that someone wears a vest with the shirt untucked. It's a little more unusual. We've got this vest, a jean vest, very cool. It has like 12 different swatches here, as we can see. Like so. We'll drop down here. Quite a few clothes. Like I said, this is a lot of clothing. 
These are all just the tops. It's a little bit fancier shirt. We've got kind of a Western wear shirt, date night. Date night in town at the fancy barn dance, right? The drunken barn dance there in town. Going to wear something a little fancier. Comes in horseshoes. <laughs> I like that one. They're okay. I mean, they're not bad. You know, definitely a sort of date night type of look. I'm going to take his gloves off real quick, too. There we go. He can wear the gloves separate. Gloves are cool. Got a jean jacket. The quintessential cowboy get up. A jean jacket. I have one of these I wear, too. A jean jacket with a pair of jeans, especially if they're same color, is the Texas Tuxedo. That's the Texas Tuxedo jean jacket and a pair of jeans that match in the same color. One thing that's really great with this pack, a lot of these items, as you can see right here, are distressed and or muddy, right? Sort of dirty. Like he's been outside working all day. He's a true cowboy. He's got this real dirty, distressed look to it. That's awesome. A lot of people have been very, have been very happy with that. I'm one of those people. I think it looks very cool. Love that look, though, too. I like the new look. like those two colors together. It's a nice pairing. This one, let's see if we have any of our more distressed pieces here. See if it gives us more of the dirt. Yeah, see, there's some dirt, right? He's been hard at work all day. He's been tearing it up out on the range. Got some really nice colors here, some really nice pairings. See, that looks awesome. The dirty clothes, the dirty setup. I think a lot of people are going to like that sort of look, not just for cowboy, not just for a farmer. Some of those apocalyptic looks, maybe you have a construction worker. You know, there's a lot of... Maybe you have someone just gardens all day long, all the time at home in the city. So you want something that looks a little dirty, right? Especially for storytelling, or maybe just because you want, you like it. You know, it just fits the vibe. Dig that. This is another sort of, it's like, it's kind of like going to church on Sunday, maybe date night on the town again. It has a, it has a very old fashioned vibe though. I will say that it has more of a, kind of 70s, 80s kind of feel to it with that stitching, you know, on the pocket. I don't know that I've seen anybody really wearing anything like this ever in my life, even for date night, but it's cool. I do like it. It's a nice kind of costumey piece. That is me in a nutshell right there. I wear that sort of outfit quite a bit, actually. Looks exactly like something I would wear tucked in. Now, I tend to tuck mine in. I do. But, you know, otherwise it does, it does have the look I really like. That blue I especially like. Green I really like. Here's all of our different swatches, of course. Uh, really, really good look to it. This is another one that looks, oh, a little kind of retro. It looks a little more 80s to me than a sort of current day look. I mean, I wouldn't say you'd never see someone wearing something like that. Especially if it's hot, maybe they're going to roll the sleeves up like that. But by and large, you're, you're looking at sort of that 1980s type of look, right? Got another vest here. It's it's a cool vest. This isn't one that I would probably wear, despite the fact that I do like vests. But it is definitely a cool vest. I'm going to try just putting these on him as I switch through them. Might be easier to see. So, you know, not bad. Not bad if that's your style, right? Ah, we got a nice sweater sort of jacket. That is something you kind of do see. Now, I, I don't really own one, but it looks very cool. Very Southwestern. Nothing wrong with it at all. And then this. This is one of my favorites. I do like this a lot. This pairing of a long sleeve shirt that is tucked in, mind you, with a vest looks very, very good. In fact, I probably wear that all the time. The green there with the white. Very nice. And that's our swatches on that. Let's look at our full body options here. Let's uh, go to packs. Full body for masculine is going to give us, where is it? Horse ranch, four. So we have four full body looks. Now, this one's a little dirty, right? This one's a little worn out. I do like it. It's got a, It's definitely got, again, a, a kind of colder look to it, a sort of winter look. Nothing wrong with it. We'll kind of flip through our swatches here. But it's definitely a winter, a winter look for being out there on the range, taking care of your sheep, your mini sheep. I really love this. I actually do have that jacket. It looks like me in the winter time. Lots of layers. Now I don't wear this jacket very often anymore, but I do own one like that, and I do love it. It's a, one of my favorite pieces. Uh, the reason why I don't wear it, it actually is really heavy. It's a very those are very heavy jackets. Love that distress there at the bottom. 
Uh, very, very heavy jackets, but they're great for repelling water and the, and the elements, and they are warm. Nice, nice. Okay. Another sort of sheepskin. In fact, most of the, all three of these so far are winter looks, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's just odd to come here to the outfit section, and so much of it is winter looks. You can see we have all this distressed look, awesome look. This is going to be sort of a competition look, sort of a professional rider look, right? That's the way I view it. That's the way I look at it. We'll flip through our kind of different colors here. Wow, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, I, you know, I like this. I think it's fun if you want to go practice in this outfit. The competition in game is just a rabbit hole. It really doesn't seem to matter what you wear. But those are our four looks. They're great. I love them. So far, I do like most of these looks. Uh, on our bottoms, let's go in here. Again, we will filter this by Horse Ranch. And we have uh, three pairs of pants here. Just three pairs of pants. I'm kind of surprised. I thought there were more pants than this. Maybe I was looking at the women's pants as well. But I did think there were more pairs of pants than this. We've got these distressed jeans here, which um, I'm okay with, but I'm kind of fed up with with that sort of distressing, you know, the sort of ripped knees and stuff distressing. I don't mind the dirt. The dirt's very, very cool. I love that. But we've got oh, so much stuff. I feel like this tore up already in game. I love this. This is fun. This is very costumey. It's very costumey. I don't know if you're going to catch a lot of people out kind of dressed like that, at least in Oklahoma, I would say. But it's very costumey and it is a lot of fun. And I might have someone wear it maybe sometime. Here's a more traditional pair of jeans. This is more what you're going to see, right? On an everyday basis, everyday wear, uh, with the kind of fancy belt buckle there. Those are a little dirty. He did wear them to work, but they look good. So that is all that we have as far as new bottoms go in game. We'll look here with accessories. Let's see if there's any new accessories for men in particular. There probably are new accessories for women and, and, you know, men can wear anything from women that they want, of course, too. We have the gloves. Gloves was the only thing different. Only thing we have. I did have those on him. They come in a variety of different sort of leather styles. Pretty authentic. I like them. They look uh, pretty good. You know, not bad. Not bad at all. And then we'll check out our shoes here specifically for men with the horse pack. Let's drop down. Horse ranch. Two new pairs of boots for men. Very, very cowboy in style. Again, in, a, in an array of leather styles, right? Leather colors leather pattern. Some of them are dirty and distressed as though you've been working in them. That's very cool. Love to see that. And then we've got this style, which I'm not sure. Let me take his pants off so we can really see them, right? I'm not sure that they're all that much different from the other pair, but we can really see kind of the look here, right? Love the distressed, love the different colors. Very authentic look. They do feel very cowboy. There's the there's the style, the other style. I guess they're pretty much different. They are. They have a much different look on the on the leg there. One's kind of that butterfly, one's this other pattern. So yeah, not bad. And let's look to the side. This is what the side looks like. It's the side of that other one. That's the back. Again, kind of a kind of a butterfly in the back, and then that sort of design on the back. Do do do. Let's go up here. Now, on hats, uh, of course, we have this new hat that he is wearing at the moment. Horse Ranch, here we go. We've got six different hats. We have this one. Not bad. I do like that one. It's a pretty cool cowboy hat. Lots of different swatches here as we go through. Different swatches, different bindings. I really like that one. A kind of orangey one. That's cool with the cow print on it. That's also very cool. That's cool too with the cow print on it. Got this more like Indiana Jones looking one. Uh, I do like it. I probably would wear it. Or I have, well, no, I would wear it in real life. And I would have my Sims wear it as well. Go through their swatches. Kind of about the same, right? Here's a hat I actually had him wearing was this one here. Uh, basically in that color, but it comes in several different colors here. Also distressed in a few cases. The distressing here is probably the best, uh, you know, thing in the pack because it really does hammer home 
that these are people at work on a ranch, you know, or on a farm. They are hard at work all day. They're really kind of putting in the hours. That's our horse riding helmet. I think that's mostly been shown on kids, but you could wear, you could ride it as an adult too. If you had any sense and you're just learning how to ride, you probably would wear it. That way, if you get thrown off, crack your head open on the ground, you know, you don't have to worry about dying and ending up in a nursing home the rest of your life, right? With a broken brain. So be careful when you're out there trying. That's our baseball cap. And then we have this hat, which is got a feather on the side so when you are ready to be a cowboy pimp when you're ready to when you're ready to work those hoes instead of working those cows instead of working the heifers you're going to work the hoes you've got the perfect uh accessory here for that i do actually like those colors right there on that hat together though they do look really cool i'm not sure where the feather comes from again that's not a style i'm overly familiar with but it's cool enough love the distress version they've got a smart there and so you know there you go, right? Kind of fancy, kind of styling. We're going to let him roll with it. Here under hair, we're going to take a look at the new hair with this pack. There are a couple of new hairs with Horse Ranch, as always. In fact, there are six new hairs here with Horse Ranch. I'm going to take his hat off so we can see them better. He's wearing one of them. He's, he's, wearing, he's wearing this one right here, in fact. This is what it looks like with that one. We've got this one here, kind of. Kind of looks like maybe, you know, someone cut it for him at home. <laughs> We've got this one. we got some braids here. It looks, looks pretty good. I think that looks not bad at all. Pretty good look on him, really. We've got this one. Slick back. Again, maybe for date night, right? Got a little date night look going on. And we got that one. High and tight there. Kind of tapered up on the front and the back. Very cool. So six new hairstyles. We've got a new couple of beards in here let's drop again check out which one we've got we've got three new styles i consider this the um sam elliott the sam elliott mustache right and then we've got this kind of a full beard i mean this isn't so different from what we have anyway right it looks good nothing wrong with it and then we've got this, which is a variation on maybe Sam Elliott a little bit. The mustache isn't quite wide enough. This could definitely a rough one. This is a sort of like, I haven't had time to shave in two weeks type of, type of look. You know, they're working cattle right now. They don't got time to, to mess around with all this other stuff. But three new, uh, facial, you know, hair types is really cool. Uh, in game, I do like to see those and especially like this and this because they're pretty different from what we have already on our accessory side let's take a look here masculine horse ranch uh, the masculine kind of options they're going to go ahead and throw in what i would really consider more uh feminine options as far as earrings go but uh, you definitely can wear them and especially in this day and age and in game you can for sure nobody's going to care in game I think I got a good look. I really like that one. You know, it's a really pretty look, right? I think. A little bit longer, and you could call those shoulder dusters because they, you know, they dust your shoulders. In fact, I'm kind of surprised they didn't put a couple shoulder dusters in here. I kind of mentioned that already during a video, uh, looking at some of these cast items just in a picture that had been posted by EA. Uh, because, you know, that is definitely a country thing, like a kind of a country girl thing to wear shoulder dusters. And... These are kind of close, but not exactly. This is that uh, kerchief, you know, or bandana he was wearing earlier. We'll run through these different swatches here real quick. The one next to it is going to be, I think, exactly the same swatches. It just happens to tie differently here in the front, right? So it ties like that with a knot in the front instead of only tying in the back. You can see there are the exact same swatches. Now, we also have a necklace. Let me pull back just a little bit so we can see that necklace better. We've got a necklace here. I do like the necklace. Very cool. Very awesome. A lot of different styles through here. It has a nice look. Love that. Love that, you know, sort of jade look or maybe turquoise look with a blue rope. Looks super good. Has a very modern sort of, uh, sort of, 
original nation, native nation vibe going here, right? The people that were here first before us, uh, those nations, it has kind of that sort of vibe to me. But a modern take on that, right? And then there's some sort of new makeup here. We're going to take a look and see. Probably nothing for men would be my guess. And let's say, well, you know, the clown down there. I think the clown makeup is new because I noticed that highlighted. No, it's not coming up. It was highlighted in the trailer, but it's not coming up as new. So it's going to be all feminine, I guess. And speaking of feminine, we're going to come on her first. I'll come up on her first. We first are going to do the horse. We're going to look at our horses here and see what we've got to wear. Let's go around here. Do, 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 do. Uh, now, you have a wide range when it comes time to build a horse. Just like with cats and dogs, you have the exact same mechanism. You know, you pick a breed. These are the different breeds that you can choose. A wide variety of them. So you pick a breed, you pick a body style there if you want. There are seven different body styles. You can adjust that to some extent, you know, when you go in. As I recall to paint them, we'll take a look here. On hairstyles, you also have seven different hairstyles. You like no mane. You have kind of a short, a long, this sort of braided look, you know, kind of like that. And then you have this sort of look, right? Let me turn them around the other way. Make sure there's nothing on the other side. And then you have, you know, this is what I'm, you know, maybe this was the one I was, yeah, that's the one I was wearing. And then you have a variation on it with a braid, right? So we'll roll that back. And let's see here. Next, this is going to get us into, and it comes in all these colors, right? It comes in the standard sort of hair colors that Sims have, the horse has. Uh, on the patterns, you have you again. You're going to have your your paint mode just like you do with cats and dogs, with the stenciling system here, like so. Different brush sizes, different colors, so that you can adjust. You know what you want your horse to look like, right? Um, I'm not very good at this. Let's see, as you can tell, I'm not very good at it. I have not done very much of it. You know, over over the time, right? But that gives you an idea. Play around with it. If you get good at it, you know, it's really cool. I've done a little bit with like my cat and dogs, but I'm telling you, it's been so long. I really have not done much. And I tend to just pick a cat, you know, like it's a typical American tabby. That's going to be what I pick. And I don't really get into a lot of decor with it, but that is the system, the exact same system as we have over there. Uh, on outfits, we have a range of plain sort of blankets. Now, I gave him the uh, sort of fancier blanket over there that we'll take a look at again here in a second. Once we're through all those colors, I gave him this one. I like that one. It has a nice sort of look to it. Comes in a lot of different patterns. Again, this is something like 20 swatches. So, you know, a lot of pattern here. A lot of different options for your horse, which I really like. It's great to be able to personalize them like so. Now, of course, this is going to be the crowns. We have a crown option. Uh, comes in these different colors, right? I think the hat here is where we have the unicorn option, I think. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a hat, a hat, a hat. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. There is a unicorn option where you can slap a horn on his head, but obviously I don't. It's not there with the hats. I didn't get into that. I mean, it is just kind of a cosplay option, at least as far as I know so far. If you saw my build items video, you know that there was a weird sort of like actual unicorn in debug. So... I haven't come across anything in, in game yet as of the recording of this cast video. So I really don't know what that's about. But as of right now, all I know is that, yes, we have a horn somewhere in cast that you can stick on his head and, uh, you know, make him appear to be a unicorn. He won't be magical. He won't do anything magic, but he will appear to be a unicorn. And we've got this selection of socks, right? We've got this selection of socks here. A lot of different styles. You know, love the rainbow, of course. Everybody loves the rainbows. We'll go through here. 
really like that last rainbow one there. I probably won't ever use these, but I think people who are really into horses, like true horse people, probably will. And what do we have next? I think we, did we do it all? No. Well, let's look at the bridles real quick. Got that kind, that kind, that kind, that kind, that kind. A lot of different colors here. There are 16 different colors of bridle. He's getting kind of antsy. He's probably like, for God's sakes, hurry the hell up, Jason. Okay, and then we got this kind as well, right? Do to do. We'll snap through those pretty quickly, like so. Uh, so let's see here. I don't. I still don't see where that unicorn horn came from. I know there is one. I do know there is one. I just haven't seen it. Here's the different options for saddles with his blanket on underneath. I, did, I went with a just kind of plain saddle, normal, average, every day. I do like the blue, though. Blue's really cool. And some of those would be great for competition, right? For competition riding. Now, again, competition is just in a rabbit hole, and I don't think there's any sort of prize for best saddle, <laughs> you know, for best look. It's not that type of competition. But, you know, if you just want to pretend, I think a lot of people who go to competition do try to pick a really nice saddle, try to pick a really nice look try to, you know, impress the judges on that part of it as well. So there is that kind of idea, I think. So uh, that's it for our saddle bridle. Yeah, four different options for a tail here. I did almost miss that. So we got that option, that option, and that option. We've got these sort of legs. These sort of legs are calling them feathers is what they're called, right? Then regular. And then coat thickness. So you can have kind of a thickier, bushier type of coat or a standard. Okay. And with that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into our women's fashion here for the new pack. Let's uh, go ahead and drop down here. Select by Horse Ranch. Take a look at the tops we have. Now, some of these tops like this one looks remarkably like something we already have, if you ask me. It does. Uh, but this is all horse ranch stuff, and it's, this is all tops. So we're going to start here with this particular one, kind of run through our swatches. There are nine swatches of this kind of jean jacket style top. It is a sort of jacket, I guess, yeah. It's odd to me because it's got a little bit of midriff showing, uh, I'm not real sh sure on that part, but okay. It could be the shorts are the problem. Maybe I should go ahead and put her in a pair of jeans. Let's put her in some jeans real quick and see if maybe that made that any... It makes it a little bit better. It does make it a little bit better. The, the shorts were kind of short there, so it does make that a little bit better. Let's move back over to this shirt. We've got like 12 different swatches here. All of them pretty nice. We'll roll through our kind of looks. Very Western, very cowboy. I like this best. This looks most most kind of what I would recognize, you know, most normal. Nice kind of kind of vesty sort of look. That's really pretty. I like that color there a lot. We got a jean shirt. Again, this looks very normal. And I do like it. And, you know, they're tucked in. So much of the women's stuff is kind of tucked in, right? Isn't that interesting? Because the men's stuff is all untucked. But a lot of the women's stuff is tucked in. I like this here. This looks good. Nice wintry look. In fact, really nice. Got some nice patterns on it. The vest is cool. Vest is always good. She's got a nice looking vest there. And long sleeve shirt. Do, do, do. Looks super cool. Down here. Now, this I'm going to assume is date night. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be kind of date night at the Drunken Barn da Dance Nightclub. Uh, some pretty colors on it. It does. It is. It's not a bad top. It, it does look like sort of a nightclub type of look. It's not a bad top at all. Got another winter coat. Look, very wintry coat. In fact, look there. 
This is for Utah, though. It can get very cold in Utah. It can get very cold in the high desert, so I don't blame them for having a lot of sort of winter looks. Do, do, do. Let's run through that. Got some dirty looks for the women, too. They're also working. Women don't kind of rest on the laurels on the ranch or the farm. In fact, most women are going to do just about as much work on the farm as far as physical outdoor labor as men are. They're going to run the tractor just as much. They're going to run the harvester just as much. They're going to work cattle just as much. At least in my experience, you know, the sort of image of she's the, you know, the, the lady of the house staying home in the kitchen and cooking. You know, sometimes they might cook. But they're out there working the fields just as much as any of the guys do. Got these tops. Again, more of a date night look. Kind of the bare midwif, which is the most popular style for women in The Sims, I think. Uh, this is good. Another wintry look. Nothing wrong with it. Got a little horsey up there on the chest. There we go. Nice jean vest. That's very cool. See, to me, that looks a little more date night than some of the others, except that this is still too high with that midriff showing. I do not get that. Uh, but a jean vest like that I get. I think it looks really good. We have this one. That's pretty. It's a pretty look. Again, it seems like the shirt doesn't quite cover everything. But okay, we'll go with it. Maybe it just looks a little strange. Maybe it just looks a little weird there. I guess it it just seems a little short is all. But maybe not. This one looks good. I like this. I think this has a great look to it. A lot of nice swatches. And a very good everyday casual I'm at home type of look. Again, this is the sort of thing that I probably would see a lot. And that, a lot, right? Dirty shirt just came in from gardening. Do, do, do. This looks like, I don't know, fantasy idea of uh, romanticism out on the prairie, maybe, right? Sort of a romantic notion of just strolling through the heather and the fields. Going to go look for some mushrooms and wild berries and stuff like that. There's room for that. There is. There's room for that. If that's what if that's the deal that's that's kind of where they're coming from that's fine got a little crop top jacket here also it's pretty i like the flowers embroidered up there on the shoulder that's really pretty and then a kind of plain sort of you know kind of a t-shirt little little button up t-shirt looks very cool lots of great colors and those are our tops so now our full body outfits for this particular pack, let's drop down here and see what we have for the ranch. What are you going to wear on the ranch for a full body look? Well, you're going to wear this. Very good. I do like that. Nice jumpsuit look and pretty, um, pretty on target. This looks like a great look. Let's see if it has any kind of, you know, worn out. Yes, it does. Just what we need some worn out. I've been outside working all day type of looks and it does have those. This also has a great sort of Western. Uh, normal look, not a costumey look. This looks more like something, yeah, you probably would see. And not just for a costume party or for an old Wild West look. It has a very just modern, casual, uh, run around town, at home, going to hang out with the ladies for lunch type of look in the country. Uh, this is cute. This is cute. I do like it. Very cute look. You know, a little flirty, a little young and flirtatious and stuff. I do like this look. It's very nice. Got a nice dress here. It has a nice pattern around the top. In fact, that's actually a really lovely dress, you know? Again, a sort of afternoonish or a sort of cocktail dress. I think it's really cool. Uh, this looks a little more, a little more fancy, either fancy or romantic, one or the other. So maybe. Maybe an evening dinner or evening at the local watering hole type of outfit, or just a sort of romantic notion of farming type of outfit. This is definitely a romantic notion of farming type of outfit. It's cute, but it's a little more costumey uh, than the other sort of items, especially with that. Can you imagine really working out on a hot, dusty farm <laughs> with that sort of like 
you know, strapped in halter look there, but it's a cute look. I do like it. That said, I really do like this outfit. And I, this is so, the sort of thing I would dress Sims in, you know, no matter what, no matter where they are. This thing has a really cute look. It's got a nice look. Uh, let's check out our bottoms for this particular group of Sims, the lady, traditional lady looks in the Sims horse ranch. Looks like we have eight different bottoms, so quite a few. Quite a few. Men only had three. We've got eight here for the women. Uh, we've got some worn out looks. Again, I mean, okay, it's fine. I, I think we've got plenty of worn out looks, and I don't think any of these even have the dirt and distressing on them. They're just torn up. So, you know, not really. Uh, it's not my favorite. But they're okay. We've got this sort of skirt. Again, a very sort of date night and or romantic notion of maybe the West and how you, how you dress up every day. This is pretty though. I think this is pretty. This is a nice look. I love again, the flowers embroidered on it is really nice. I really do like that a lot. Those are my favorite patterns of it here. We've got some chaps. Now, this is definitely costumey, but again, much like with the men with that, much like with the toddlers coming up, there's a little bit of room for that. And I do think, yeah, it's fine. They want to put some stuff in here in case you want to do an Old West, right? Do you want to do a romantic Old West type of story? Do you have that sort of story in your head that you want to act out? So you need clothes for that. And I think it's fine. I do think some of that is good. Got this look here, not as much kind of, I'm going to just say not as much distressed and dirty kind of outfits for women. Am I the only one feeling that? Is anyone else feeling that? It does feel like the men had a ton of work clothes, right? A ton of stuff. They're going to be out there working on the range, working in the dirt, getting dirty. The women don't seem to have as much. So I don't know what to read into that. I'll let you guys read what you want to read into it. I don't know. I think it's a little suspect. I uh, personally, like I said, it's been my experience. Women work just as hard out on the farm as and get just as dirty as the men ever do. And especially on a ranch, especially on a ranch, they do. Now we've got a nice little skirt here. Great little frilly type of skirt. Uh, very cute, very cute look. Actually, the colors are pretty nice. Some of the colors are really nice. That green was really nice. There we go. And then we got this sort of leather skirt. This looks more like a city Western type of look to me, like something you bought in town to wear in town. But that's fine too. I think there's room for that. But it, yeah, it looks like something in the city, like like in Oklahoma City. And everyone said, let's have a Western night. <laughs> you know, let's have a Western night and we'll dress up like they do out West. And so someone went and bought this skirt to wear uh, to that party, right? That's fine, though. We do have parties like that. A lot of people do, so why not have some clothes for it? That's our bottoms. Do we have any accessories here for the ladies only on this particular pack or that are designated for the ladies only on this particular pack? And we don't. It's the same gloves that the men had before. On the shoes, do we have any different shoes that are designated for the ladies only? Or uh, traditionally so. When I say that, I mean, sure, men can wear anything they want in real life and certainly in The Sims. You can put on anything you want. In fact, we actually have four separate styles here. This one's probably going to be the same. In fact, it is the same as the men's version. We've got a couple of distressed versions here, but it's got that butterfly on the front. So that's the same as the men's. We've got this sort of short boot here. Kind of some... Sort of bejeweled stuff here at the bottom. Can we zoom in very much on that? Not really. I'd like to be able to see that better, but I think that's as good as we're going to get. We'll go through the different colors here. This looks really cool. I actually like that little boot. Uh, that is something I would put um, a male sim in without any problem, really. I don't have any trouble with it. This is another one I would put a male sim in and think that it looks just fine. It's a really cute sort of boot. Now, yeah, maybe it trends a little more traditionally. Feminine. Let's turn back front here so we can see that pattern a little bit better. Uh, maybe it trends a little more traditionally feminine, but uh, it's not necessarily a uh, feminine boot. And neither are these. These just look like riding boots to me, and I'm surprised they're not under the men's category as well. You know, that's the interesting thing. I didn't see any riding boots under the men's category. I saw cowboy boots. 
this is horse ranch. So I kind of get that, but we also have competition, horse competition. So I kind of would expect to see some riding boots. And that's another place where I would put these on a guy, right? If I'm going to dress him up and I'm telling a story about going to a horse competition, even if you don't actually need it for what's in game, I'm going to put these on to kind of act out that story. Now I'm going to, uh, let's look at up here. Let's check out what we've got up here, up top. We should have some new hairstyles for this new pack. Let's see here. They could be all exactly the same as the men's, but I doubt it. No, it looks like we've got, in fact, well, this one's the same as the guys, right? That looks the same. Uh, but most of them seem different. Like that's different. Very cute. That's the same as the guys, though. That, I think, was that with the guys? I don't think this one was, right? No, this one wasn't. That's a very cute look. I do think that's cute. Love the braid down the back. That is an awesome look. Very nice. Very kind of formal. Kind of date night, right? Going to go out on the town. Going to fancy it up. This one, too, is very, you know, it's an updo. Kind of put up. You could wear that during the day, maybe. You just want to get your hair up all the way. So you just tie it up there. But it feels a little bit more on the town type of look. And then this one. This one's pretty too. I like that. Very nice look there. Super pretty. Especially like the bow, the texture on that, you know, on this ribbon around her hair. And then the and then the way the bow is done looks really good. That's a really, really nice texture. Really strikes me there. Hats. Do we have anything new in hats for just women? Probably not. We'll see. No, we have the same six hats that we had for men uh, in the same swatches. Accessories, we'll take a look here. Now, we know we have the, the earrings. Again, I think the accessories are probably going to just be the same ones as we saw with men, and they are. Same pairs of earrings, the same uh, bandanas around the neck, and the same necklace. So nothing new there. We will check out makeup and see if there are any maybe new eyeliners or something here for women that did not pop up under the men's selections. No, nothing new there under makeup. So that kind of takes us, a, that's about it for women. We pretty much have come full circle there with women. That's what women have on offer for this pack. Now we're going to look at infants. Okay. So infants probably don't have very much, right? I wish they did because if there's anything that people do to infants, it is dress them up, right? We dress up, inf we dress up infants and toddlers more than we do ourselves. And we give them the best outfits and the most imaginative outfits because it's the one time in our life that we have a real breathing like doll that we can actually do that too. And they'll put up with it, right? And they'll actually appreciate it. They'll actually tell us how handsome they look and how happy they are, right? So we don't have any clothes by and large on The Sims to satisfy that reality. But we do get this cute little jumper with the new pack. We do have a cute little jumper with the new pack. And I do like it. It's very, very fun. We're going to take a look there. See, so you got like that one. Nice, right? That one. That color, that color, that color, that color. This is the only thing they have, though. Uh, nothing else. But it's cute. At least we got something. I'm not going to really look a, a gift horse in the mouth. And I particularly love, like, this one's very cute. I love that. And I love it in this color, too. Kind of the pink, you know. Very, very cute. Look at the little rainbow mane on his head. Oh, my God. Her hair. That's a little girl, actually. She's a little girl. So um, just adorable. Okay, we only got one thing, sure. But hey, it is just adorable. So we're going to go with it. We are going to go with it. Now for kids. For kids, I do think we have a... Or the toddlers. Now for toddlers. I mean, toddlers, I do think we have a couple of new things here. Uh, we've got horse ranch. I'm going to do uh, masculine and feminine on the toddler and we'll take a look still just one top but it is cute we'll put the shirt on in there can i zoom in a little bit maybe a little there we go i'm gonna put his little shirt on him go through these different patterns which are cute i love these oh, i love that with the horses and the cows oh my gosh it's adorable Got a couple of plain colors as well but the horses and the cows i love best the flowers i also like that's my second favorite 
The plain ones are okay, but this, come on, that's wonderful. We've got a full body outfit. No, we don't. I thought we might look like maybe we do. Let's see if it's under feminine choices. It is. So, uh, if you, uh, have a little girl or if you want to, if you have a little boy that that day wants to dress that way, that's cool too. He's going to be well outfitted as my little guy here is. We'll go through these different looks for him. It is cute. This is a cute outfit. Super cute, in fact. And that's where we stand with that outfit. Very nice. We'll look through some of our bottoms here. These are cool. These are, everyone loves them. They've been on the, on the trailer. We've seen them on the trailer and they are very cute. We're going to put them on him here. Kind of pull back a little bit. Got his little toddler chaps on there. His little belt buckle. He is ready. He's a cowboy. He's ready to go ride the range. He probably really is too. Probably wants to get on the back of that horse, ride that horse off across the field somewhere. Check on the cows. Check on the little baby sheep that are missing, right? Those little goats. And there we go. So that's that. And then we're also going to have, there's no accessories, but we are going to have some shoes here. And then we're going to look at hair. See if any new hairs came down for toddlers. Uh, the boots are super cool. We can't get a good look at them with his bottoms on, so I'll just kind of take them off there. Uh, we've got several different colors. You can sign it's kind of see them popping up, right? Let's take a look at the sides. Looks good, right? Really, really cute. Oh, that's cute with the little cow print on it. Okay, so we've got some really cute options there. We're going to check out the hair options. Uh, it does say hair. Maybe because I just clicked on the hair. Maybe because I clicked on the hair. Because nothing's here, actually. How about under feminine? No. So we'll look under hats real quick. I doubt it, but we'll just to make sure. No. And then no accessories. And definitely no makeup for a toddler, right? So that's a toddler. Running around in his diaper and his boots, like a real toddler out on the range anywhere in the state of Oklahoma on any given Saturday morning when he woke up before his parents and ran out, pulled on his boots and ran outside to go play. Now, we also have for the kids, we have a couple of new tops here for the kids. We're going to pull up both masculine and feminine for these tops. Actually, there's three. There's three when you have when you include both sexes. Both of these look like like they would work for either sex, right? So we've got this kind of jacket in all of these different colors. Super nice. Love the blue. That blue's really pretty. So good look there. Got this great plaid shirt, the quintessential country outfit uh the only thing that's a little odd with it and maybe makes it a little more traditionally feminine is the way it's tied in a knot there at the bottom so uh, i mean you could put a boy in it though your sim won't care that's for sure and nobody around your sim will care or say anything either and then we've got this now this is definitely more traditionally feminine and uh, definitely trends that way but again hey if your kid that day is like well, but i want to wear it too then let him wear it you know, it's fine. He's not, it's not going to, it's not going to make any difference. We'll check out our full body options here. Masculine and feminine. There are no full body options for children. Uh, we'll look at bottoms. Uh, we have two bottoms here. We have a sort of skirt, which is cute. Now that looks like a Sunday skirt to me, or again, going out to dinner on the town, going to a wedding uh, going to some sort of like party, someone's birthday party or something has a very sort of trending upward, right? Sort of, sort of look, very little upscale type of look there. Fancied it up, fancied it up. Then we have jeans, the quintessential rural Oklahoman, uh, clothing piece of choice, right? So we'll go through those. And and the, the jeans definitely work for boys or girls, right? I mean, they're just the same no matter what. And we've got some accessories. No, we don't. We don't have any accessories. We might have some shoes. We do have some shoes. I think there's just one pair of shoes. But thank God we finally got some cowboy boots because up until this point, we have not had any cowboy boots, right? Do, do, do. We're going to, whoops. I'm gonna, I want to kind of you know, go in here. Okay. This is the butterfly style that we have seen in the adults and 
for men and women. Same here. And they actually are dirty. Now, none of their clothes, you know, were dirty, but the boots themselves are dirty and worn out. So that's at least something for the kids as far as that idea of working on the farm. And again, let me tell you, you know, most ranches, most farms, these kids are going to be working too, at least part of the day doing something. So, uh, you know, it is realistic that they would be out there kind of hauling that hay or doing something to help out with the family farm. We've got three new hairstyles here for the adults. Did I check the toddlers for hairstyles? I think I did. I'll go back and double check that. Uh, and if I didn't, there'll be a little segment right after this, right? Uh, right now, we've got this new hairstyle, of course, mimics the mom's hairstyle. Same great texture on that on that particular bow there. It looks really good. That does look really good. I really like that. Uh, we've got this one, right? Just kind of loose, kind of parted and loose. And we got this one. Again, mom cut that for you at the kitchen table. We'll go here, look at our hats. Finally, we do have a cowboy hat for the kids. Finally. Again, I was looking to dress my kid like a cowboy, my primary child in the uh, in the Sims 4. I was going to dress him cowboy. No cowboy boots, no cowboy hats. I was like, that can't be right. Really? All this time? Now, we only have this one style, but it's cute. I like it. And there's a lot of different swatches for it. And I think it's going to work for a lot of different kids. So only having one style is okay. Would I prefer more? I always will prefer more. Uh, but it is cute. It's a cute enough style. And we've got the sort of bicycle helmet style here as well for kids uh, for riding the horse. When you're learning to ride a horse or ride a bicycle, either one. Because I guess you could you could wear this, you know, going out to ride your bike, right? That's a kid. Uh, no, new, no new accessories, of course, or makeup. Now, let me check real quick this toddler and see. I think I did check the hair, didn't I? Yeah, and there wasn't anything under masculine or feminine and nothing under hats. Okay, I wish they had a little cowboy hat for him. I really do. That would that would be my one big wish. We've pretty much gone through all of the cast system. I think it's a pretty typical showing for cast. I again, men get less than women. That's 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 even bare, you know commenting on anymore because it's so usual it's so typical that's what happens men get less than women in the sims 4 okay fine what we got was good i really do like it i really like the distressed items are super cool so glad we got cowboy boots and cowboy hats for children so glad we at least got cowboy boots and little chaps for the toddler yes i would love a cow a cowboy hat for the toddler i must say that's that one failing of casting this is that no cowboy hat for toddlers i love the new jumper for the infants and thank god that someone at least did something for infants i mean really uh i, I would love like a whole infant baby store worth of stuff but it was nice to at least get a new jumper that ties in with the pack i really do like that so as far as cast goes that's what i would say i think cast is a decent showing here i think it matches well and compares well to other expansion packs both casts and the build by selection and the world at least as far as worlds have gone now for years i all favorably compare to any other expansion pack and that's true here the only failing is that one thing with the toddler with the hat that's it and maybe a little bit maybe some of the women's clothes could have been a little more roughed up they're out there working just as hard Otherwise, I do like it. And I would like it if you would hit uh, like, subscribe, and notify. It's a lot of likes in one sentence. But I would like it if you'd hit like, subscribe, and notify. Uh, to catch me next time, we're going to keep going through this pack. Like I said, there's videos for the world, build by, cast, a general overview and review, and several gameplay videos with my sim here, Sestacor. Okay, so until then, until next time, though, I want to thank you this time for watching.